If ping is king, why do you still end up connecting to far away high ping servers in your favorite online game? If you're sick of your connection suffering because of matchmaking systems, you need the Geo Filter in Duma OS. It lets you control what servers you play on. So you can avoid connecting to far away high ping servers and instead play on local low ping servers every game. This video will give you all the information you need to get the most out of the Geo Filter. We'll show you how to set up and use the Geo Filter and then we'll dive into some of the more advanced settings. There's timestamps in the description for each section so you can easily jump to the most relevant information for your needs. We'll be using the Duma OS 4 Geo Filter in this video. If you're using a previous generation Duma OS router, we've already made an ultimate guide for that version of Geo Filter. It'll be linked in the description. So let's get into the initial setup of the Geo Filter so you can start gaming with low ping as soon as possible. The first time you open GeoFilter, you'll be prompted with the Feature Tour. As it says in the instructions on screen, the first thing to do is add your device. You'll then see a list of gaming devices connected to your R3. Select your console or PC from the list and click Next. If you're playing on a console, that's all you need to do for now. But if you're playing on a PC, you'll be prompted to select what game you want to filter for the best connection. For this video, we'll be using Call of Duty as an example, but the steps will apply for whatever game you're playing. The Geo Filter supports a wide range of games, but if you can't see the game you want to filter here, we have a solution to this later on in the video. Now your device has been added, it will appear in the side menu of the Geo Filter. If we were to open Call of Duty now and search for a game, we would only connect to servers that are included within this filter radius. It's worth saying the filter radius will be created around the location you set during the Duma OS 4 setup wizard. If you missed this setting or just want to change your location, you can with this button. We'll quickly go over the types of filters you can set and how to adjust them before we find the locations of the best servers to include within our filter. To adjust the default filter radius, you can use this slider at the bottom. If you want to be specific, you can type a value here instead. We recommend starting with a radius of 1000 miles, but once you know the server locations for your game, you can adjust the radius accordingly. The other filtering method is custom filtering. This allows you to be more accurate and draw custom filter shapes around specific areas or servers. Now the initial setup of GeoFilter is done, let's find the best servers to be included in it. The ping heat map feature will give you all the server information you'll need to adjust your filter radius. Select your game from the drop-down list here and the servers will populate the map. As we're in the UK, the servers with the lowest ping for us will be in Europe. These green servers are the ones we'll want to include in our filter radius, as they'll give us the best ping. No matter where you are in the world, the best servers to connect to will be the ones closest to you. The further away the server is, the further your data has to travel which leads to more delay or higher ping. You can see a list of all the servers in the side menu as well as their ping value. You can also click into a server to see additional information like connection quality and stability. If you notice any servers on the list that are failing or not appearing on the map, you can resync your cloud. This setting can be found here and should fix the failing servers. Even if servers are failing in ping heatmap, you will still be able to connect to them with GeoFilter. The game servers will still be there, we just need to update ping heatmap for the server to appear correctly on the map. This can happen after big game updates, as we have to test the game again before updating the server locations. We can zoom in to see exactly where the low ping servers are located. With these locations in mind, we can go back to GeoFilter and adjust the filter radius to include them. Now if we search for a game in Call of Duty, you'll see the servers outside of our filter are being blocked, and we'll connect to a low ping server within our radius instead. That's the basic setup for GeoFilter done. If you want to jump straight into low ping games, this is all you'll need to do. The rest of the video will be covering some more advanced GeoFilter settings, plus how to filter games that aren't included in the supported games list yet. The GeoFilter in Duma OS 4 comes with new and improved filtering technology called GeoLatency. This is the new default filtering method and can be found in the settings menu here. Geolatency allows the GeoFilter to support more games than ever. This even includes games we previously couldn't filter. It also makes the filtering more stable, reducing the chances you'll run into issues or disconnects. We would always recommend leaving Geolatency turned on. If you decide to turn it off, GeoFilter will use the old, stricter filtering technology from older versions of Duma OS. Ping Assist has been massively improved as well in Duma OS 4. It allows you to connect to servers outside of your filter radius, but only if the server's ping is between the minimum and maximum ping you've set. If you prefer, you can use Ping Assist as the main filtering method in GeoFilter. This will filter servers based on ping value rather than the server's location. You can do this by setting your preferred Ping Assist value here. 
Then make your filter as small as possible. Now when you search for a game, you will be filtering based on server ping rather than location. If you ever connect to a server within your radius or ping assist values that has poor connection quality, you can directly block it. By clicking into the server, you can add it to your block list so you won't connect to it again. Steady Ping is a new Duma OS 4 feature that is currently housed within the GeoFilter UI. It removes jitter in your connection which will lead to incredibly consistent and responsive gameplay. You can open the Steady Ping panel here. Once open, you can enable or disable the feature. When enabled, you can choose what Steady Ping mode you want to use. Simple provides an automatically stabilized connection and is probably the best mode for the majority of users. Expert allows you to stabilize your connection based on a target ping value. When Steady Ping is enabled, your base ping will be slightly increased. This is because a ping buffer will be applied to your connection. The benefit of this is because of this increase it can account for any jitter that would normally be present in your connection. This results in an almost perfectly stable ping, which is ideal for getting the best gameplay experience. You can see steady ping working in the side menu of GeoFilter. When connecting to a server, your connection will start to become stabilized. By the time you have loaded into a game, you should be playing on a low and stable ping thanks to steady ping and GeoFilter. Like we mentioned earlier, the new GeoFilter can now support more games than ever. The NetDuma team always tries to keep the supported game list up to date, but if you are playing a more niche game, or if we haven't added support for a game yet, there is a way you can still get the best connection with the GeoFilter. When filtering using a console, you don't have to select a game to filter. This is because for consoles, the GeoFilter works on all detected gaming traffic. So this means whatever game you're playing on a console could work with GeoFilter. But what does this mean for PC users? Well, if we go to the Device Manager feature and select the PC you are using GeoFilter with, you can change the device type. You'll want to change it from Computer to any of the game's console options. Once you're done, click Save and then head back to GeoFilter. You'll have to add your device again due to the change in device type, but once it's added, you should be able to filter games that are not included in the list. If you're having issues with this method, or if you want a game to be added to the supported list in GeoFilter, then let us know in the comments. Or message us on Twitter and we'll pass it on to the team. And there you go. Now you know how to get the most out of the Duma OS 4 Geo filter and should be enjoying a stable and low ping in whatever games you're playing. Hopefully this video has answered all of your questions about the Geo filter, but if you have any more, feel free to drop them in the comments section and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can check out the other videos on our channel to learn more about the other Duma OS 4 features and how they can optimize your connection even further. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.